Hello and welcome to another Flux tutorial. My name is Nico and today I'll be showing you how to harness the power of AI to design faster, safer and more complex PCBs with the help of Copilot. Copilot is a Flux trained large language model that lives inside your project. It understands the full context of your project, including your schematics, components list, electrical connections, and it can even pull data sheets online. This allows Copilot to respond with information highly relevant to your project and help you select parts, provide feedback on your schematic, validate calculations, or analyze trade-offs. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to interact with Copilot, use cases, and some of the best practices that you need to keep in mind. So let's get started. Getting started with Copilot is easy. You just need to tag it with add Copilot in any comment, like this, or by using the newly introduced chat menu here on the right. Once Copilot has been tagged once, it will reply in the same thread, and further responses on the same thread will interact with Copilot without needing to tag it again. You can also create a new thread by tagging add Copilot and then typing any message that you want. Now, let's explore some AI-assisted workflows that can significantly improve your design process using Copilot. We're pushing the boundaries of AI and hardware design, and we want you to be a part of this journey. These are some examples that we found during the initial testing phase, but we'd love to learn more about the use cases that you find. Join the Copilot channel and Slack community, and let's explore the future of PCB design. We left a link to our Slack community channel down in the description. First, let's talk about faster design iteration. With Copilot, you can quickly generate new design ideas, explore different design options, and iterate on your designs faster. For example, you can ask Copilot for the list of components needed to achieve a specific use case or the minimum set of components that an IC needs. In this case, we're going to be asking Copilot what components do we need to design a solar power temperature sensor. By asking Copilot that question, we're going to find the list of components that we can directly add to our project to create that specific use case. Keep in mind that Copilot might take a few seconds to reply, since we're sending the full context of the project, including all the present components and that list. We can see here that Copilot is not only creating a list of components, but also is providing a description of why it chose a specific component. This takes us to our next section, which is design optimizations. Copilot can also help you optimize your designs for performance, efficiency, or reliability. By providing specific information about your project goals, constraints, and specifications, Copilot can suggest design improvements and help you make trade-offs between different design parameters. In this case, we're going to ask Copilot to find the cheaper version of the temperature sensor. Remember that since Copilot has already been tagged in this thread, we don't need to tag it again. So let's ask Copilot to find a cheaper alternative to the temperature sensor. The beauty of Copilot is that it not only provides alternatives in specific part numbers, but also completely different design choices. In this case, it's suggesting that we use a negative temperature coefficient thermistor, which is completely different from the IC that it suggested before. Now, let's see what Copilot can do when we already have a full design. Finally, Copilot can help reduce design errors by suggesting corrections and improvements to your design as it's being developed. It can identify potential issues and suggest improvements before they become problems, reducing the risk of costly design errors. In this case, we've asked Copilot if the chip select pin is connected properly. Based on Copilot's feedback, we can see that our design is correct in this case. Now, let's run through a few extra examples to see what Copilot is capable of. In this example, we've asked Copilot how would I optimize this circuit for RS sensitivity. You can see that it provides a full explanation with actionable tips. You can also ask more general questions. For example, in this case, we've asked how to identify potential EMI issues. Keep in mind that if you provide extra context about what your project goals or requirements are, Copilot can provide a much better explanation. It's also possible to ask more specific questions. Like in this case, we're asking Copilot to calculate the resistance of the current limited resistors to make sure that LED1 is properly driven. What's interesting in this case is that we never specified either UI or LED part numbers. Copilot can get that from the context of the project. We also have an indicated Copilot where the data sheets of those components is. It can automatically search that online. Here's another more complex example of Copilot calculating design parameters. In this case, we've asked Copilot to calculate a full filter based on this op-amp. 
What's interesting here is that Copilot is checking that the actual part number that we've specified can actually accomplish what the filter is intending to do. Finally, you can also ask Copilot how to perform specific connections. In this case, we want to connect this RTC to the main IC. Copilot will provide all the necessary connections and exactly which pins in the original IC you'll need to connect these to. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and can't wait to see how Copilot helps you design better PCBs. Don't forget to join the Copilot channel in our Slack community to share your experiences. Thanks for watching.